What is going on guys? Chimera here and welcome back. We are back on the cluster series. It has been a long time and there's been a lot going on on here since the last episode. As you can see, we are here on Valguro on the base, but I have a cinema crops and a tech suit. Yeah, and a dragon flag and kind of every alpha boss trophy. Um, yeah, I have done quite a bit, uh, yeah, a tech replicator, a teleporter, a ton of other things, and a couple, uh, mutated creatures. Yeah, uh, I kind of took a break from recording for a very long time, as you probably know from the lack of videos for the past couple months. Now, I have, since then, done work on the Cluster series. Um, I didn't plan to ever come back to this on the channel, but I decided that it would be more fun to, you know... Try some new stuff with other games and other art content, of course. But also just kind of have the Cluster series still documented because what's the point of having all this stuff if nobody else can enjoy it with me? So that's what I'm going to do. I've done quite a bit uh, since, and I will show you all of it in this video. This is kind of just a recap video of all the stuff that I have done over the past like two or so months since the last video. Um, we're not going to really be doing many like uh, tasks today. That will be in future videos. Um, these videos will not come very often. I am going to devote my time to kind of other games for a little while. Uh, I want to do some Minecraft content and a couple other games that I want to do some uh, playthroughs on. In terms of this series, I'm just going to kind of do little update videos and some tasks like boss fights and creature taming when I see that it's a good idea and that I have the time. So. Yeah, um, to start off, I have the cinema crops on my shoulders. I went over to Lost Island when it came out, and I tamed a couple things. Uh, where, where did, oh, it's over here. Uh, this is, uh, Jetpack. He's our mutated, um, red and orange cinema crops, and he has a top hat. Um, yeah, not much to really say about that. I can't even really use the cinema crops because I have a tech suit now, but, oh boy, before I had this tech suit, I kind of just got this the other day. Um, yeah, I got tech over here because I fought the bosses on this island with what I will show you in a minute. Um, if you remember the tech rexes that we tamed in the Genesis 100 Days, uh, episode. Um, yeah, I've done an entire mutation stack with them. And as you can see, they are very high level and they are very cool looking. And they're also very, very powerful. I did, um, you can't see here. Um, this ignore the 962 mutations. That is not the amount it actually has. It gets messed up when you try and like breed multiple creatures together. But if you look in here, I have these ones. Oh no, that's not even the uh, okay Rexes. Yes, um, I have 20 into health and 20 into melee. As you can see, there's the 20 uh, melee stack and there's the 20 health stack. So 20 health mutations, 20 melee mutations, and yeah, these Rexes are kind of OP. Uh, not gonna lie, so I'll show you the kind of damage they do. I'm sure you've seen one other creature in my inventory that I've tamed since then. I went over to Lost Island, and not only did I tame this lovely cinema crops on my shoulder, I tamed some Dinopithecus as well, and I have also done 20 health and 20 melee mutations onto the Dinopithecus. When do we ever have aloes down here? That's so strange. Alright, well, either way. Uh, where is the Rex that I need to use? Yes, we still have our Skeletal Rex crossbones from the original episodes of the series. And yeah, 80,000 health. That's a lot. I don't boost stats on here. That's just kind of how it is. And it's got like 3,000 melee. That is ridiculous. Like, I don't ever boost stats on my Arc series anymore now that I'm playing on PC instead of, uh, other platforms. But yeah, we do like almost 3k damage per hit on like most creatures obviously we don't do that damage to like stegos and anything with reduced damage but wow we do a lot of damage why are we doing 2.8 there but we're doing 2.4 here that's so strange either way um we have this and i also have the dinopithecus now where did i put that dinopithecus is right here um is that kibble in my inventory yeah it is um, yeah, here we have um, Barry Allen. I named it because it's fast and it has kind of flash colors. It's red and yellow. Don't know what else to say about that. This is our Dinopithecus. Um, it is also very powerful. I al it also does like 2,000 damage per hit. 
Yeah, um, I, my plan in here is to just get as OP as possible as quick as possible. And this is just kind of one of the ways that I wanted to do this. So yeah, there's the new creatures, the two mutation stacks that we have done since I have last updated you on this series. Um, I have not done anything else and I don't plan to do anything else except in videos. Although I will do most everything outside of video, but I will record it and compile it together it's kind of a voiceover 100 days format, but it won't be obviously 100 days videos because um, we're way off the day counter. We're on day 117 here on Valguro, and this is not with sped up time. The Genesis 2 thing was with sped up time. This is not. I have spent most of these 117 days breeding the Rexes and the Dinopithecus because mutations, even with the Dino Storage mod, takes ages. Absolute ages. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you around uh, the breeding base. Uh, this is exactly the same as the one down there that we built. And the, ep the, last ep the last video I uploaded on this channel, actually, was building this base down here. Uh, that's an identical one, just so I could have two. I also built this little scaffolding thing here. I quite like it. Uh, I wasn't sure about it at first, but it has definitely grown on me. Um, if tell me your opinions in the comments. Um, I know it's not the cleanest looking thing. It's got, like, weird floating railings in places, but... It does its job well. I mean, I don't really need it anymore because I have a tech suit, but hey, it was helpful for when I had it. Um, yeah, I have in here more stuff. This is where I... There were cinema crops in here. There were cinema crops in here. Yeah, um, I, for my color mutations um, thing. Yeah, I would show you the cinema crop, but I can't even really use it. Um, there's some other things that I have done. Uh, I have started... I, I, while I was building these bases, I tamed this random thing. This Dodic kept wandering into this base while I was building it. So, oh yeah, the base has a name. It's called the Pointed Peaks, because every single building is is pointed. So I called it the Pointed Peaks. So yeah, I think it's quite a good name. Let me know your opinion. But yeah, this is um, this is this guy. He was just kind of kept wandering in there while I was building it. So I kind of just tamed him and stuck him up here. Um, I haven't leveled him in ages. Uh, melee why not i'm never gonna take him down from here um he's just gonna stay here for all eternity uh, and then sacrifice our parasaur from the genesis 2 series is here um yeah i have not forgotten about that i still have a base over there i went back there quite recently um and of course this is a cluster so we have all maps available to us um i'm pretty sure i showed off this base i'm like 80 percent sure that i that i showed off this base there's also cinema crops in here which is strange um, yeah, I started up here, then I moved on there. We have artifacts as well, because I have done caves, because I needed to do caves, so we could, uh, you know, you know, do stuff with these guys. Um, I kind of, I, I did a speed run in, of sorts for the Broodmother, um, since Dragon, Manticore, and Megapithecus, all on this map. The Broodmother on this map is the open world one, and it does not give the trophy or the tech grooms, so I can't exactly get tech grooms from something that, that doesn't give them. So I had to speed run artifacts and apex drops over on the island to go and fight the broodmother with my very, very OP army of tech rexes. I'm now, yeah. So I've also done some, uh, some chibi leveling. I need to go back and just farm those levels and just get all the way up to, I can't remember how many levels you get from that in total. But uh, I have gotten up enough to unlock the Tech Canteen, which is a Genesis 2 Engram, and it's super useful. It has, like, what, like, nine, nine drinks, nine times the water than a normal canteen, so it's wonderful. Um, if you're wondering why this Tech Replicator is so small, it is because S-plus structures can be scaled down in the settings. Um, I would show you how to do that, but I'm pretty sure there's people already out there that have explained it way better than I would. So uh, just go look it up, and I'm sure you'll find something on that. I've also been doing uh, Maywing mutations. Um, I went out and tamed a bunch more Maywings. This is an entirely new like set of stats than what we had in the Genesis 200 Days episode, where yeah, we're up to like 14 health mutations now. Um, yeah, I'm just taking it slow because you can only kind of really breed two Maywings at once. It's kind of annoying how this works, but whatever. Uh, you can't do massive breeding projects quickly. So over the course of this past 117 days. We've been breeding Maywings pretty much the entire time, and this is as far as we've gotten. That is many, many hours. So, yeah, this takes ages. So, I am I have all the colors all set. Uh, pretty much every single region, I think. Yeah, uh, all six regions here. 
all have a unique color of their own, and I will combine them once we are done with stats. And I think I'm just going to stick with the theme and do 20 health and 20 melee mutations. We are so close to finishing the health stack, but the melee stack is hasn't even started yet. I start that after I finish that one. So we will have a complete May wing in about, like, probably over 100 hours more of gameplay. Uh, it takes so much time to do anything in this game. It's ridiculous, but I love it. It's This is just the best game. Um, in terms of loot and stuff, I've gotten a decent amount. I mean, I did the Christmas event, obviously, after I'd, during my break. I got a bunch of stuff from that. A lot of Ascendant Crossbows. I definitely want to do some water taming pretty soon because I want to fight the Genesis 2 uh, motor boss, which is the little guy, eel guy in the water. So that'll be fun. Uh, chibis, I farmed up a decent amount. Um, not really that many because you can't really farm up a ton of them. But it, when the Easter event gets here, I'm going to get all of the chibis because it is just so fun to farm chibis in the Easter event. It's, it's just so fun. But yeah, we have that going. We have... I've tamed a couple other creatures. Um, I'm preparing for this. Megatheriums. I want to do Megatherium mutations. I was going to do them to fight the Broodmother, but I just decided that my Rex army was so OP. I didn't really need it. But in terms of videos, I will do Megatherium mutations, and I will go fight the Alpha Broodmother with them, even though I don't need to. I still will anyways, because I will need more of these trophies, because I want to build, like, a boss tower, basically, to just display... All the artifacts, the trophies, the flags, everything. But I also need the Broodmother trophy, the Dragon trophy, and the Megapithecus trophy to fight the Overseer, which I want to do sooner rather than later. I could do it right now if I wanted to, but I want to tame some more creatures. Specifically, Aloes. I want an Aloe army to bring into the Tech Cave with me. I want to bring Rexes. I might bring a couple Rexes, but I mainly want to use Allosaurus because they're smaller. And they have a less likelihood to fall into the stupid lava, which always happens to me. I hate the tech cave. I never have a good experience in there. I always lose, like, half my army to the lava. That was a very big lag spike. I have no clue why. Um, I also have gotten some uh, weapons, more weapons, since the last time. I have this cool tech rifle. It's only, like, Apprentice, but it does the job. Uh, I don't know if I had this sword in the last episode, but I painted it gold, and I think it looks so cool. It's literally just like a golden sword. It looks amazing. Uh, with the, uh, of course, the Scorched Sword skin that you get from the artifacts on this map and Scorched. I'm pretty sure the artifacts are on other maps too. I can't remember though. Um, shotgun. This is a new shotgun, not the same as the one I had before, if I even had the one before. But this is uh, a better one with, I believe, crafting skill. Yeah, 38% crafting skill bonus, which is very nice. And, of course, this rifle is... The same one we've always had since the beginning of the Genesis 2 100 Days series. Man, I've done so much now that I think about it on this world since the last video. And I'm so happy to be back. Uh, I got big plans coming up pretty soon. And yeah, this uh, this whole this whole cluster series is far, far from over. Fjordor's coming out pretty soon in June. And I will be doing an entire series on that. I know I missed out on doing a series on Lost Island. I started one. I was pretty much done recording with the first episode. And I just decided that I wasn't really feeling it. And I just needed a break. So I just played Lost Island by myself. And I, I, I had fun. It was it was very enjoyable. Um, but yeah. Uh, I wish I had footage of taming the Dinopithecus and the cinema crops and everything. Oh, we also have a greenhouse. I built this over here. Um, it's working. It's they're powered by the tech generator. It's great. I have thousands and thousands of crops way more than I will probably ever need which is nice um, But yeah, this was just a quick little update video to basically say everything that was coming up and everything that I've done and Yeah, big plans big plans for the series um, Hopefully have another video out pretty soon I don't know if it's going to be a cluster video or if it's going to be a video on a different game I have not decided that yet it all depends on what I actually want to do. I think the next thing I really want to do is the Megatheriums. So I'll probably continue with Megatherium taming. And there's this other little video that I want to do. Um, I, it's going to take a very long time to do. But yeah, it'll probably be out within the next month or so. I hope. <laughs> um, breeding creatures takes, as I said, ages. And as you probably know if you play Ark 2, breeding creatures takes absolute ages. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I hope you're excited that I'm back making content again. I know I am.